happy Monday, you guys. This week, fall is starting, and I'm so happy for the season change. Like, I'm just craving a good fall crisp day i'm craving the leaves turning orange i just love fall so much and i'm so excited to make fall content it's gonna be so cozy and good i'm honestly really motivated this week because it is a short week for me i'm actually leaving on thursday to montreal for my cousin's wedding so it's a short week and those are always just so much more motivating, I guess, because I'm only doing my routine for three days. So it's like, okay, I really want to get it done. I want to work out every day before I go. Yeah, that's the vibes for this week. I had the best sleep last night. I had weird, like the weirdest dreams again, but I had such a good sleep and I just feel really well rested. Apparently going to bed at nine to five is like the best sleep hours that you can get in terms of the moon. Apparently you should go to bed before, I think it's like 11 or something to get the full or the maximum moon benefits that you you can get when you sleep because apparently the way that the moon is like really affects the way that you sleep and the amount of sleep you can get and like how good the sleep is for you i don't actually know the science behind it you can search it up but i know for a fact that sleeping from like nine to five is like really good for you because where the moon is or something like that but anyways i just feel really really well rested and that's so good for the start of the week i'm at oxygen yoga and fitness today about to go in for my class i'm so excited it is a arms and butt and leg class today which is like my favorite one but yeah i got on my ugg dupes today because just to keep my feet warm it's kind of like a gloomier morning and cold got this cute little whitish workout set on from aritzia just feeling the cozy fall vibes today so let's go in to our workout <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding me. The cup was upside down. You're actually done. Like, you're done. <laughs> obviously like for people who don't know what PR is they're gonna be like what the heck like why is this woman sending packages to her old apartment obviously it was just a mistake because I forgot to update my address with the brand but anyway so it's been at his place for a while now and he also has an envelope for Joel not sure where that is from he probably just forgot to change his address on something as well but I barely even like ate breakfast today just because I've been running around all morning since I'm 
gonna be in the area. My friend Lexi lives right near there. So we are going to potentially go thrifting together. I have just been in love with thrifting recently. Obsessed with it, I wanna go every day. I feel like fall is just like the perfect time to thrift. Like you can't find better thrift finds but in fall. So I'm just down to hit the thrift store in like a different city. I brought my iced coffee in an actual glass because I don't really have a need to go cup. So I was like, you know what? I really want to have a coffee. So we're just bringing it in a glass because I mean, the only thing that doesn't make it a to go cup is that there's no lid. So whatever, I'm gonna spill it. But that's the plan for this morning. I feel like I have a couple few busy days before I leave just because I have some appointments I squeezed in. Also just like a bunch of like random errands to run. Also need to go grocery shopping because we don't have anything for dinner for the next three days because I haven't done a big grocery shop. So just kind of at an awkward stage with our food right now where we don't have much and we don't even have really anything for dinner we just kind of need to go and pick up a couple random things just so we can have food to make dinner for the next three days it's always like such an awkward food phase before you leave on vacation i feel like at least for me like i never know what to do because i don't want to buy anything and then have it like go to waste in my fridge for when i'm gone but we're not leaving for long actually. It's just re a really, really short trip for the wedding. So it'll be fine if I overbuy a bit, but obviously like I just don't wanna buy things that go bad real fast, like avocados and stuff like that. Today is fall weather. I got on my fleece sweater and I feel really, really cozy. And we're finally getting some cooler weather, which is just so nice. And it feels more like fall. My favorite type of weather is like when it's sunny and like that crisp fall air. Like I just, I'm obsessed with that. I'm gonna drive now. I'll talk to you guys later. So I just got back home. I was just out and about all day. I picked up the packages that I needed to get from my old apartment and then I went thrifting. There was this thrift store near where I used to live that I really liked. So I had to stop by there because I was in the area and I went with Lexi. I just picked her up and we went quickly um, because she had work to get back to. I got some really cute fall things. So I'll show you guys in a minute. But then I went to Ikea to return the carpet that I needed to return. And I had to wait 45 minutes in line i was just shocked because it was 2 p.m like in the middle of a monday why was it so busy who knows i was kind of shocked when i got there and i saw the waiting time i'm like 45 minutes for like a one second interaction that's crazy i just thought i wasn't going during rush hour like i kind of went at that time on purpose so like i thought it wasn't going to be busy but apparently people go to ikea on a monday in the middle of the day like that's pretty common so anyways then i just went to meridian meats quickly to pick up something for dinner i still need to do a tiny tiny grocery shop which i'll do tomorrow morning but yeah that was my day it's about almost four o'clock now so i'm gonna start dinner soon it was a pretty fun day also i we took breno out my dog like my family's dog out in the morning i didn't film that so i just feel like i've been running around all day when i'm used to usually being home but let me show you guys a thrift haul because i got some really really cute little home finds slash decor and then i just got a few sweaters but let me show you guys so here are the home little fall things that I found. I was so excited when I saw this because are you kidding? I can make hot chocolate in here. I can make like an apple cider, something really folly and cute. But I'm going to put this on my stove as just a decoration because I think that this is beautiful and it kind of looks like one of a kind and I'm just so obsessed. I have been looking for little cute fall like ceramic decorations like this and I was so surprised to find this. It's just adorable. And then I got this little cute pumpkin mug, which I couldn't resist. I just think that this is really adorable. And then really random, but this is like a giant mug and it just looks like it's cream and it looks really fall-like and it's such a giant mug and I thought of Joel when I bought it because he loves a big mug of coffee in the morning. So this is perfect size for him. I just gotta wash everything, but perfect size for him and it's just like so fall and I love it. Here's a little haul of the clothing I got. This sweater fits so nicely, like it just crops and cinches perfectly and it's just a cute quarter zip and it's so cozy, kind of like thick so it's really warm. So I had to get this. I got this vintage guest little sweater thing and I tried it on and it looks so good. I kind of envisioned myself wearing this with like a pair of baggy light wash jeans 
and then my uggs with this sweater i feel like would be just a really really cute outfit really happy that i found this and also i love like the little stripe on the neckline i think it's just really cool and unique and it's so fall the last thing that i got thrifting is just this knit i really like the color of it and the fit was amazing also the neckline was just so perfect so i couldn't resist but it's super soft good quality great condition so yeah that's my little thrift haul so i took a shower earlier i washed my hair cleaned my body i shaved and now i'm going to self tan using loving tan this is their new purist collection and this collection is made with 97 percent certified organic and naturally derived ingredients and you guys know i've been trying to switch to all organic stuff so this is perfect timing this collection includes the purest loving tan mousse it also includes the tanning lotion and it also comes with purest face tanning serum as well and it also comes with an applicator mitt this tan is so like comfortable and easy to wear when it develops so i really love that about it so if you guys want to shop you could click the link in my description and use my code michaela pure with my code you guys can get a free gua sha with a purchase from the purest collection but okay so let's get tanning i think i'm gonna do medium today i'm gonna show you guys how i do it you want to make sure you're really well moisturized before putting on your tan this actually gives you like an instant bronzing color as you can see that just really acts as like a guide to putting it on so it makes it a lot easier and you want to make sure to get everywhere <laughs> and this stuff actually smells really really good you guys it doesn't have any gross smell to it and make sure to buff out your hands nice right, now i'm gonna do my chest so this cell tanner actually contains both DHA and an ingredient called erythrulose to eliminate orange tones because most brands only contain DHA and when you get a buildup of low grade DHA, that is what causes the orangey tones. Okay, I just did my upper half. Now for my back, I'm gonna call Joel to do it for me. So this is directly after applying it. I already look so bronzy. Now we're going to apply their medium face tanning serum and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm just gonna take my cellar water onto a cotton pad. I don't have any makeup on, but I just want to make sure that my skin is clean. I'm just going to take the serum, apply it into my hand, and kind of rub it a little bit in between my fingers, and apply it onto my face. Look at this gua sha that they have. It is so cute, and I'm definitely going to start incorporating this into my daily routine. Okay, you guys, so this is 24 hours later. Look at how amazing the tan looks it is not patchy at all it's so smooth and it honestly looks like my natural tan like you would never know that i self tanned but i'm obsessed with the results and here's how my face turned out it's so smooth and my complexion just feels really evened out and nice anyway so if you guys want to shop loving tans purest collection don't forget to use my coupon code to get yourself a free gift everything will be linked in the description along with my coupon code so I'm honestly so obsessed my tan, you guys. <laughs> kind of editing and stuff for the night and it's eight o'clock i just got an amazon package and the doorbell scared the shit out of me because i never really get packages this late but i guess amazon is like out there 24 7 but when the doorbell rang i was like who is that so i ordered a few things okay so a little basic haul before i get ready for bed but the first thing I got is this hard shell, just like a clear MacBook case. Because I don't have a case on my laptop and I realize that sometimes it's like in a situation where I need to bring it somewhere and it can easily get like scratched and stuff. So I just rather have like a nice basic hard shell case on it so that it's just at least like a little protected. So I just ordered this. I think it was only like $20. I'll link it in my text section in my Amazon storefront. And then really random, but I got the NYX eyebrow glue. Apparently this stuff is so good. I have been using the e.l.f. brow lift, but it just doesn't last all day. It only lasts honestly half an hour. And then my brows are like droopy. It's really weird. So apparently this one is actually like really, really good. So I will update you guys on how I like this one because I'm pretty picky about my eyebrow gels since like most of them don't last a long time. I honestly have high hopes for this one. It was only like $12. So I was like, it's worth the try, you know? So for my cousin's wedding on the weekend, 
I bought these Ardell Accent Lashes just so I can, if I'm feeling it, wear a little false lash moment. These are only half lashes, so they only go in the outer corners. I don't know how to apply real lashes. It's so hard for me to do. I've tried before. But these accent ones, they go perfectly on the outer corner and they look so good. I love how they look and it just like kind of takes your makeup to the next level because I don't really do much with my makeup regardless. So I feel like just like adding these at least that's like something different for the wedding and will be cute so that is my little amazon haul i have something coming in i'm pretty sure tomorrow too it didn't come in this box but i'm sure you guys when i get that because it's really cute but yeah this is my little haul of the night i'm just gonna go get ready for bed now <laughs> morning you guys it is currently around 6 40 and it's so much darker today than most mornings i think because today is going to be a gloomy day so the sun isn't really going to come out so it's just like super gloomy right now but i was literally like where where's the brightness like usually just yesterday was like bright and i was like is it just because it's getting into fall but i think it's just because it's like a gloomy day today and i'm not we're not used to it sorry for the lighting because i know it's like super dark but i wasn't actually gonna do a workout today because normally i do monday wednesday friday but since i am leaving later this week i still want to be able to fit in three workouts so i'm gonna be working out three days in a row monday tuesday wednesday because i just feel like i want to challenge myself and a lot of people ask me like why i wake up so early when i don't have to but the honest answer to that question is that i have a lot of goals in this lifetime that i want to accomplish I just feel like by doing this I am stepping into the best version of myself I'm challenging myself every day and I am building discipline within myself and it's just such a rewarding feeling and it puts me one step closer every single day to accomplishing my goals it gives me more time in the day and it really just like my body feels amazing every single thing that you do on a daily basis might not seem like a lot but over time it compounds and it becomes everything for example if you just brush your teeth one day that is not going to do anything but the reason why brushing your teeth works and keeps your mouth healthy is because you do it every single day and so think about that but with any really thing you do in your life it's like even working 30 minutes a day on something even though it may not seem like a lot over time it compounds and it does make a huge difference just a year goes by so fast like if you started something a year ago today imagine how far you could have been when a year just feels like yesterday when you think back to this time a year ago in the moment it might seem hard but in the grand scheme of things it's like you're gonna thank yourself for showing up for yourself every day and being the best version of yourself because why not why not aim to be the and strive to be the best version of yourself every single day i just crave structure and discipline in my life because without it i just don't function properly i feel lazy i'm obviously not trying to promote toxic productivity because that's one thing but i'm just like saying it's really really good to have goals ambitions and just really try to show up as the best version of yourself anyways i got this workout romper on that i got from aritzia i love it so much it's so butter soft this is like my favorite romper ever but i'm gonna head into my class i will see you guys when it's over whoa 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 yeah let's have sex in the bank tell them to open a say let's do it let's do it i hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. hey the diamonds they hit like a rainbow that's because the necklace of frank purr hey in the nine, breaking it, bending the spines, do it, let's do it. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since he signed us, y'all. Niggas be full of excuses after they taking their time, for real, for real. Whoa, whoa. 
Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the times that I had to go slide Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been biased Too many sticks, how is that your ops and none of them died? Okay, so I just stopped off at the store on the way home from my workout just because before we leave I needed a couple of things so I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a haul right now so I just got some organic eggs we usually get them from Costco but I just needed to get like a 12 pack for before we leave since we're running out and then I got some pumpkin pie spice I'm so excited to use this I'm gonna make a pumpkin spice latte this morning after I shower and eat but I will show you guys the recipe in a bit. And then I just got some peppermint tea because I have been craving it recently. And then I just got some organic bacon and I ended up buying some almond milk. I usually make homemade almond slash cashew milk and everything. I haven't actually bought any milk in a while, but I have no milk right now. And the problem is, is homemade milk goes bad really, really fast. So if I make it and then we leave on our trip, it's just going to spoil in the fridge. So since these ones last so much longer, I'm just going to use this before we leave. And then when we come home, I'll just finish it off and then continue making my homemade milk. But just for the time being, I bought this one. It looks good. It's vanilla. It has a whole bunch of additives and stuff in it, but it's okay once in a while. And then I just picked up some Coke Zevias, but yeah, that's a little mini haul this morning. Here's what I made for breakfast this morning. I did a classic hash browns, eggs, and bacon. I just shredded the hash browns and fried them on the pan. But oh my goodness, this looks so good. And I just love a good like classic breakfast that you would get at a restaurant. And there's lots of protein in here, which is good. Okay, so let's make this pumpkin spice latte. I'm gonna make it hot because I just feel like a cozy drink today. But I'm just gonna start off with a half a cup of almond milk. I'm actually gonna heat this up on the stove just because I've been trying to avoid the microwave. I might have to add more milk because this is like nothing, but this is what the recipe calls for. So we're just following that first. Okay, so first thing it says add is a heaping tablespoon of unsweetened pumpkin puree. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. And then to sweeten it, I'm just gonna add in some maple syrup. And it says to add in one to two teaspoons, just like depending on how sweet you like it. I kind of could eyeball that for myself. And then I don't have vanilla, but if you have vanilla, you can add it. And then I'm just gonna open this pumpkin ice spice that I bought today. And you just have to add in a quarter teaspoon. My milk is now warmed up on the stove and I'm just gonna add it to the ingredients. Take a hand frother and then just mix it. Oh. Now I'm just gonna put this under my Nespresso machine and then brew a double shot into it. Now look at how pretty this looks. I'm just gonna mix it all in now. And I think I'm gonna add a bit more milk, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. Oh my God, that is actually so good, you guys. 10 out of 10 recommend that you guys make this. Cheers to a homemade pumpkin spice latte. Okay, I didn't actually expect it to taste this good though. If you want, even add like some cinnamon on top or whipped cream, that would be so good. I just don't have any, but this feels so cozy right now. I'm just gonna drink this and probably read my book right now. curled it because i haven't done curls in a while but we're heading downtown i have an appointment and then 
we are gonna go shopping because Joel needs a um, dress shirt for the wedding and I also got invited to this brand called Public Myth. They actually invited me to come into their store so after my appointment we're just gonna head there because it's downtown in the same area so it's perfect timing and then lastly we're gonna go shopping so that's the plan for today just kind of an errand type of day but yeah it's kind of fall vibes today the weather is gloomy which I love and wearing jeans with my Uggs and then a knit and just my white shirt. Just little classic simple fall outfit. such a great experience and it's really cool to see like an in-house Vancouver made brand especially because I love working out and I'm always in like athletic wear So I just got back doing everything downtown what I got done today is I got a lip flip if you guys don't know what a lip flip is It's like the most minuscule thing ever but for me I just noticed that it makes a big difference So basically what a lip flip is is you just get like four units of Botox, which is like so tiny Like it's just a tiny bit of Botox right above like your upper lip It doesn't go in your lip. It just goes right above and what this does is it kind of pulls the muscle of your lip up. It gives the effect of a fuller lip without having to do lip injections. There's no commitment to it because the Botox fades within like two months. So it doesn't last very long. I've gotten it done before, but I really, really do like the results when I get it. Honestly, I don't know what's in Botox. Don't know if it's actually good for you. Could be poison. Like who really knows? I guess they've done medical research on it, but I don't really have the desire or want to get Botox anywhere else. I just really like the effect that it gives my lip because what it basically does is it like pushes it up so that when you smile your lip doesn't disappear because before getting the lip flip done when I smile my lip like goes underneath and it just I don't know it just like encourages me to smile more and it's nothing like, like I don't need to get this done but it just like the only thing that I've really ever done cosmetically that makes me feel confident when I smile and everything and it just gives the appearance of like fuller lips which I really like and it's still like my natural lips is just pushed up a little bit so it's only $40 like it's nothing huge at all it's super cheap to do but yeah I just like it personally I've never gotten lip injections or anything else done before but lip flip is just like perfect for me i really really like it the last time i got it done was like so long ago maybe like eight months ago but i just do it kind of every now and then but yeah and oh also you don't you're not going to see a difference like right now my lip doesn't it doesn't actually take full effect for like a week so it's kind of like a waiting game but nobody really notices like joel if i didn't tell joel he would never even notice because at the end of the day like whether you get your hair done whether you get lip injections whatever it is that you want to do you're not doing it for other people you if you're doing it for yourself so even if nobody notices like it doesn't even matter but yeah if you guys are interested in getting a lip flip in vancouver i will link angela who did it for me in my description and make sure if you go you mention my name but yeah so we just got home i'm just on the couch right now i have to make dinner this is like the time of day where i don't feel like doing anything i'm honestly just having period cramps right now because i'm on my period 
unfortunately and i'm just not feeling the best i was going to like i said do a workout tomorrow because i wanted to do monday tuesday wednesday but my body is telling me no my period is just not very good like you have to have balance like i said earlier this morning i want to be disciplined and like you know achieve my goals and all that but when something like this like being on my period gets in the way like there's nothing that i can do about that and it's just your body telling you like look you have to rest there's a difference between being lazy and like listening to your body knowing that you have to rest yeah, we're definitely not working out tomorrow i just feel like i'm gonna do harm rather than good like when you put yourself in these situations where your body is telling you no then i honestly think you're doing more harm than good because your body needs the rest so i'm glad that i did go today this morning because at least i got two workouts in this week it's not the end of the world even if i did no workouts and i would just like had period cramps the whole time you shouldn't feel guilty about that either because you're listening to your body and that's a good thing like that's actually the healthier thing to do you know but anyways i'm just like cushioned in the couch right now and it's so cozy because i can like hear the rain outside i love the vibes of the rain today feeding my fall autumn soul right now and i mm, i just love it i'm gonna probably while dinner is just like in the oven and stuff i'm definitely gonna cozy up on the couch earlier when i was reading with my coffee i put like rain sound effects like a fall ambient thing on the tv and it was just so nice but now it's actually naturally happening outside so it's beautiful but anyways gonna get myself up and make some dinner <laughs> So I just got this PR package from Summer Fridays. I'm just gonna open it up quickly with you guys. They sent me their new rich cushion cream and I'm so excited to try it. I've heard great things about it and I love how it's unscented because I can't do scent for my skin because it's sensitive and I have eczema. But the formula seems so creamy so I'll use this probably tomorrow or tonight and i'll let you guys know how i like it but thank you so much summer fridays that's so sweet and i can't wait to use it they're just such a good brand they always deliver here is our dinner today i just put together some yam fries i just cut up some yams and drizzled them with oil and put salt on them and then this is just some cod and then i made this sauce with mayo and hot sauce mixed together but yeah it's so simple just an easy dinner because i honestly have no energy but it looks so good morning you guys so even though i didn't end up going to the gym this morning doing a workout i still woke up early at the same time that i normally do because i have a lot to get done today i haven't even started packing yet so i need to start packing because we're leaving tonight to go to my family's house and sleep over there because me, Joel, Madison, my sister, and her boyfriend, Connor, we're all flying out together tomorrow. So we're going to have a little sleepover tonight so that we can all go to the airport in the morning together. But yeah, there's just a lot to get done today. I need to pack. I need to finish editing because these videos are coming at you guys so live. Like I do not pre-film. I don't really pre-edit either. I kind of just film my week and then post it on Sunday. So since I do like really real-time videos like that, it's a lot harder for me to take days off because I need to make sure that I'm staying consistent with my editing throughout the week 
and also staying consistent with filming so i need to get a lot of editing done today because i want to finish this whole first half of the video that i already filmed i want to just get it edited so that i have minimal work to do when we're in montreal for the wedding because obviously i want to spend as much time as i can with our family and stuff because most of all my cousins live in montreal and so i have we haven't seen them in like four years so i'm really excited to see everybody obviously and i want to do like as minimal work as possible i'm still gonna have to edit like a tiny bit there but i just want to get as much as i can done before we go but yeah so with that being said i don't really know what the rest of the video is going to look like after today but we'll see what kind of content i get i'm definitely going to film tomorrow on the airport and everything but we'll see it's going to be different because i do want to bring you guys along since i'm filming monday to friday now yeah so i got a pack and edit and i know editing is going to take me so long and also before we leave i want to just like really clean the house so that we can come back to a fresh nice house because i hate going on vacation and coming back to like a messy environment I want it to be super clean. I want to wash the bed sheets. I want to do all my laundry. I want to clean the kitchen. Just make sure everything's vacuumed. The bathroom's cleaned. And so I have to do that. That's probably going to be like the last thing that we do. But yeah, I just was editing while drinking my morning coffee. It is currently right now. It's 11. So I was editing for a while. Um, and I still did like a bit of my morning routine. But we are not working out or doing anything today. Because my body, first of all, is so sore. Second of all, I'm on my period. So my energy is just like so low already as it is. And I just need to put all my energy today towards everything i gotta do but yeah that's the plan for today i am trying to i'm gonna try to pack into a carry-on i honestly don't know if that's gonna be possible i might end up just bringing a full luggage but i just want to pack as light as i can just so it's like convenient and easy you know but i don't actually know if that's gonna happen because i feel like i have a feeling i'm gonna have to actually bring a big luggage so we'll see but I really want to be strategic on how I pack. I want to plan like what I'm going to wear so that I'm not overpacking because every single time I go on a trip without fail, I overpack to the max and I don't know how to not overpack. So what I'm going to try to do to prevent that is like plan all my outfits beforehand because since it's fall now, it's not like I can just throw some summer shorts and like tank tops in my luggage. It has to actually be like pants and shirts and sweaters and maybe a jacket. So I actually kind of have to plan more. Packing for anything really but summer, it's like you have to pack a lot more and things are just heavier and bigger like jeans and stuff. So who knows? We'll see what I end up doing for my packing if I end up bringing my big luggage, but the goal is not to. So we'll see. No promises on that one. But, but yeah, so I actually have my laundry right now just finishing up drying. I did it very like early right when I woke up this morning because I wanted to be like dry and ready for me to start packing So once the laundry is done, I'm gonna start packing and then I don't know I just have a list of stuff on my phone that I need to do. Yeah, we'll see how the day goes but, but i will update you guys on everything and like of course my period has to come before i go like i just hate packing pads and stuff because it just takes the, like extra room but it it is what it is right i can't really i can't really prevent or plan that so it's out of my control that's like one of the things that i'm trying really trying to work on is like things that are out of your control you just have to realize you can't do anything about them so like don't stress about things that you can't control because there's no point in doing that um, it's out of your hands, so it's like, what's stressing about it going to do? If anything, is just going to put negative vibes towards it. So anything that's out of my control, I really have been making an effort of just like, it is what it is, you know? I can't do anything about it, so. Anyways, okay, I'm going to undo my laundry. Now it's going to be done in a couple minutes, fold everything, and then I guess I'm just going to start packing now, and then I'll finish like my video editing cleaning later when I'm done my packing, because I just kind of want to get this over with, so. Let's do it. Packing is always fun like the idea of packing is always fun but then once you actually start packing you're like okay this is a bit hard <laughs> because i just like i'm so indecisive okay anyways it's a skill also you guys snooze by sizza with justin bieber it's so good i'm obsessed his voice just fits the song so well would definitely recommend to listen to it <laughs> So I just opened this package from Amazon, you guys. Look at how cute. I'm gonna use both of them for packing right now. But how cute. This print is just so fall. And I feel like this fall red is really in. And I don't know, it's just adorable with the little bears and the flowers. 
and I love them so much. It comes with a little mini and then a bigger one, but I'll have these linked in my Amazon storefront, so go check them out because how cute, I'm actually obsessed. So here's all the things that I think I'm going to pack. Do we think that it's gonna fit in the carry-on? I am not sure because I still have my cosmetic bags and everything, but I really made an effort to lay everything out and to make sure that everything here is like reusable. I could wear a lot. Like I just did like basic long sleeve, basic t-shirts, and then I just have like two tank tops, three pairs of pants, sweatpants, sweaters. Yeah, a hat. That's basically it because it doesn't need to be anything fancy. I just got to bring my wedding dress and worry about that. But other than that, we're just basically chilling the whole time, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I think this is pretty much good, but I don't know how everything is going to fit. So we're going to have to see because I want to bring a pair of shoes as well. So I don't know, it's not looking too promising, but I feel like I did really, really good with the packing so far. Okay, so here is how my carry-on is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring this extra sweater because things are looking pretty tight. But I'm going to try to close this right now and see if I can fit it and I will update you guys. But I'm so proud of myself. I don't know how I did it. It's a miracle. Here she is. She's pretty small and I fit so much in it. I'm so happy. This luggage is from Hayes, by the way. I will link it down below. I think I deserve a round of applause for this. I actually can't believe I did this. I'm so proud of myself. I'm actually so happy right now. So I'm just about to leave the house. We're going to go sleep over at... My family is today with Connor and Madison and just have a fun night before we leave. We're excited to go on the trip and we're officially leaving the house. So today was honestly such a busy day though. From 5 a.m. when I woke up until now, I have been like nonstop working because I had to edit so much and I we cleaned the whole entire house. We packed, which took hours, did laundry, but it feels so good because our house is like spick and spam and we're all packed up. So I never thought that I would actually get here, but we're here. So it feels so good. And got my bag. This is like my little personal item bag. I just have my laptop and stuff in here It's perfect size and it's like pretty small, but it fits what I need it to fit. So it's good